Tonight, meet the local girls taking big steps toward filling the shoes of future engineers. It is all thanks to local business partnerships. Morning anchor Bridget Ellison explains how it is getting results in our schools. Getting results in our schools. Sponsored by Crayola Experience. This week we're at Milwee Middle School with the Girls Engineering Breakfast Club. They're getting ready for a big shoe design competition next month and they're celebrating a new grant from Duke Energy that will help them encourage more girls in the engineering field. And how many layers there are, that's the inside. These girls are designing shoes today and could be engineering cutting edge technology tomorrow. They'll be able to explore more science, technology, engineering and math opportunities now thanks to funds from Duke Energy. The company donated $43,000 to Seminole schools to support STEM efforts with 3,000 going to their club. We wanted to celebrate a club of girls to give them exposure in a profession where it's mostly dominated by males. So kind of get them engaged early to see if this is the pathway they want to take. And learning new things about engineering and design and learning how to make things out of scratch and then you see the final outcome and then it's like the me it's an amazing feeling. The Girls Engineering Breakfast Club is a big success at Milwee Middle. What started with about 10 girls meeting once a month has now grown to more than 50. Something that inspired me was the fact that I got to help people and I got to understand the problems that were happening in real life. Engineering teacher Carol Unterreiner says she's hopeful groups like this for children and continued financial support will change the future landscape in a career field where women are still underrepresented. This is a very critical age to get them because this is the age where they're trying to decide what they want to do for the rest of their lives. You have to figure out where you want to go to college, what you want to do, what classes you want to take to get to the schools you want to go to. And so at this age, if I can influence that, then they're going to have a better track in high school, which will then get them to the college they want to go to. Think about the fact that you have to walk on them. And the grant support really helps this breakfast club as they get ready for many big events. They're going to the Florida Solar Energy Center next month. After that, Lockheed Martin. And then, of course, Engineering Month is coming up in February. Lots of activities planned there as well. I'm Bridget Ellison. I'll see you in the morning. Funds from Duke Energy will also go to support the STEM Lab at the Seminole Early Learning Center. That's for VPK students and other STEM-related projects district-wide.